It is funny how John Calipari going to Arkansas from one basketball school to another basketball school does not get near the play of, let's say, Tommy Tupperville going from Ole Miss to Auburn. And those are not the same ilk of football schools that Kentucky and Arkansas are of basketball schools. So that's just the way the conference is. I mean, you think about it, this would be the equivalent, Caleb, of Mike Krzyzewski or Dean Smith going to North Carolina or Duke, respectively, as soon as the season was over and there was no talk about it beforehand. This is a pretty major shift uh, for the conference and for the basketball community. Yeah, I mean, it's I mean, the closest to it, though, I mean, let's be fair. It's not much different than when Rick Pitino, who we just talked about, went to Louisville after flaming out at the Celtics. I mean, taking the Louisville job and. Some people like to say it's like when Nick Saban went to Alabama. It's not. For those who don't realize, Alabama LSU did not had not blown up as an SEC rivalry when Nick Saban did that. Remember, and it wasn't uh, what it is. No, pretty big in the '60s. Is that going too far back though? Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about at the time. At the time, at the moment, there wasn't a genuine disdain, deep hatred because LSU, from you know, between Billy Cannon and Nick Saban was a laughable football program. Uh, it was it was right up there with Florida as the sleeping giant, but LSU was the sleeping giant for a longer period of time. With Florida, it yes. was about, about 10 years. Yeah, exactly. Florida got smart, and LSU, um, I don't know, just the administration ain't very bright down there. But <laughs> it hasn't been for a long time. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think that... Uh, but this is a similar one, particularly when I consider, I mean, if you do top three programs in the SEC in basketball, Arkansas and Kentucky are two. Uh, Kentucky, obviously, but Arkansas might be the other one at number two. Okay, here's this press conference. So we need to credit this. I know you're going to play it, and it's kind of goofy. It looks like a high school press conference. like some. Yes, this is THV 11. This is about 30 seconds. It is. Let me just show you what they did and how they promoted Calipari yesterday. Are you all ready for it this? Looks like a, it looks like a middle school. Uh, it's at is, a gym. Yes. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is absolutely laughable. I'm sorry. Um, I got a, a, yeah, here we go. We're at full screen already. Where it is about as loud as a building could get. You're not entertained. The loudest arena to start a game I've ever been in. Uh, this is a hard place. You don't come here expecting to win. Let me tell you that. The name, the brand, the identity that he brings to a program that has a storied, rich tradition, an outstanding fan base in Fayetteville, Arkansas. The big recruits will follow and winning will follow. You go to Kentucky. What made you go to Kentucky? Coach Cal. I love Cal. I still talk to Cal to this day. You came in, you earned everything he made you work. Playing for Cal was, that relationship lasts forever. Our Cal Perry gets to go to a proud program with Final Four National Championship pedigree. With the first pick in the 2010 NBA draft. Sorry, I'm going to skip forward a second, guys. I'm just going to show him being introduced. One second. Yeah. Let me tell you on that one part. Yeah, let's talk about that one part, and then I'm going to show you. I'm going to let's show him being introduced because it's even laughable. What about the one part? I'm not going to continue the narrative of I'm making players billions of dollars in the NBA. I don't think fans want to hear that any longer. This is the dumbest selling point possible. And the fact that this is what Arkansas sold for Calipari is laughable. But it gets more laughable with how they bring him out. And now, let's welcome to the court, joined by his wife, Ellen, the head coach of your Arkansas Razorbacks, John Calipari! Well, they're happy. You're kind of being hard on them. Is it, they're doing it like a starting lineup. Yeah, well, they're happy. Like, this is the goofiest thing I've ever seen for a press conference. That's all I had to, I'm sorry. This it's a is, little sad they couldn't get a better voice guy. I could have done a better one than that. And now, I could have done better than that, dude. No offense to him. Yeah, I totally agree. This is absolutely ridiculous. Um, and. I, I just, it's the most insane thing I've ever watched. 
This is a press conference. To me, a press conference, and maybe it's because I grew up in Tennessee media. But I got to say this. A press conference is for the media that covers the coaches. They are trying to ask questions that are relative to the fans. This isn't a... I didn't realize that introdu introductory press conferences were promos to talk about how great you were. I want to compare two guys at different ends of the spectrum. Shane Beamer, unproven football coach. John Calipari, proven basketball coach, correct? Correct. Okay. So, Shane Beamer does all that stuff a couple of years ago at SEC Media Days, looks like a goofball. John Calipari does this, looks like a goofball. Is John Calipari just slipping in his judgment? Or is he like, why have shame? Why not go all out and have these John Walls of the world, for those on our audio platform, a bunch of Kentucky players that are in the NBA, vouch for John Calipari. Why not do that? Why not go all out? Just, who needs shame? I'm begging for you to play. I'm at Arkansas now. I'm John Calipari. Cell phone number hasn't changed. John Calipari literally said in his press conference, I met the team. There is no team. That's what he said yesterday. Now, yeah, he's making it now, clear. But Dion, Dion did this first and with a football team, and that's tougher to do. And I respected that, that he went in and did that. And he actually held to his guns. He got rid of 40% of the roster. So I'm fine with Calipari doing this. This is honesty. I, I agree. What I guess where I met is Dion was doing it so he could actually build a program of, of, of players coming three to four years. Calipari's just going to one and done. There's going to be no team every year. And they were selling Calipari's draft picks. And I was just laughing. This is what was so funny about it. We know about Calipari's draft picks. Everybody knows he's a great, he's great. He, everybody knows he can lure talent that'll go to the NBA. The question is, can he actually win with that talent? No, Ar like everybody at Arkansas knew about Calipari's track record at Kentucky. They didn't need to be sold on who he's put in the NBA draft. Uh, the one thing that was telling to me on that was when, uh, I think it was John Wall said, I came to Calipari, I came to Kentucky for Calipari. That bolsters what we've talked about, Dave, which is Calipari was getting those players, not Kentucky. Those players were committing to Calipari. I think you're being a little hard on Arkansas. Now, that being said, Chris, thank you. I would be an epic voice guy. Um, oh, wow. Interesting news. Uh, okay. Uh, keep, uh, we'll keep it on that. Um, all right. So you are talking about Fayetteville. That's a place that you can pay for your hotels and chickens and pies. So let's keep that. Let's keep that in mind. It is Fayetteville. It's not exactly forward thinking. They're still using the barter system. Did you get it? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I get it, but it's first of all, Fayetteville is close to Texas. Texas, uh, like, is you think you know a lot of the population East Texas has a, a lot of big cities, so it should be a little more civilized. And it's near Ark near Little Rock, so I'm just saying. But come on, come on, this is laughable. These type of press conferences. And by the way, Auburn did the same thing with Bruce Pearl. I, my mind is like, and maybe this is just me. But I feel like a press conference is a media session to introduce your coach and then for the media members to ask legitimate questions, i.e. John Adams asked the question he did the other day. Do you think Arkansas would let anybody ask that question to John Calipari? Like, do you think Arkansas was going to let anybody take the mic and go, why haven't you won a national title in 11 years with all your talent? They probably banned that question from being asked. Mm. 